Good morning. A little yoga strength this morning. I'm Wendy. Uh, awesome to have you. Uh, this is a seven to eight practice and uh, we will focus on a little bit of flow, moving, getting our body ready for the, the deeper practice. So uh, we'll be working with breath and uh, allowing that breath to kind of motivate the movements. If you have any injuries or sensitivities, please do take care as I'm not there to watch you. Uh, I'll try to give some modifications for some of the more challenging postures that we will be doing. And um, if you notice me modifying a little bit, I have some sensitivity to my knee. I'm actually gonna be having knee surgery on it tomorrow. Um, so please just ignore if I'm doing some modifications for myself and I'll let you know what the full pose is. All right. So yoga strength is a wonderful practice to uh, kind of bring us into our own realization that we have the strength in our bodies even though sometimes we feel weak. Um, working on getting the muscles of our body to work so we don't feel the pain or the pressure in the joints. And so a lot of the postures uh, that we do in uh, yoga, if we are not strong in the muscles and we start to do some twisting and turning, we have a tendency to feel it more in the joints. So let's begin coming onto your mat. I'm sitting up on a block, but if you do not have a block, you're welcome just to sit up on a cushion uh, or just sitting comfortably. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining. So we'll just sit quietly for a few moments, closing your eyes and go inside. Welcoming yourself to this space, wherever you are. Softening the outer shell turning towards the inner body. For the next hour, we will focus on the inner sensations, making this a moving, morning, mindfulness practice. Yoga is the art of listening, listening to your body's deep wisdom. So as we practice today, let your body be your guide, becoming your own teacher. Hands to heart, gently press the palms together, Please set an intention for your practice, planting that seed. Then joining our voices together, let's take one soft ohm, inhaling. contract your throat muscles or your whisper muscles to make the breath a little bit more powerful, a little bit more audible. Most of you are probably quite comfortable with it. Another thing I'd like you to focus on is where the breath is actually moving. So as you inhale, can you bring a palm flat to the upper chest? Breathing all the way up, right up to the collarbone so you feel quite full and hold it in just for a moment and then bring a hand to your low belly and as you exhale, gently pull the bellies back. Good, so the belly muscles exhale. Inhale, breathe into the upper chest. Feel the pause at the top of the breath and then exhale, belly muscles gently pull in. Feel the pause at the end of the breath. Good, now keep that breath flowing, release the hands, inhaling. Feel the pause at the top, exhaling, belly gently draws in. Feel the pause at the end. So let's keep the breath, start to move the body, right arm out to the side, lean into the hand, stretch the left arm up and gently bend into a side bend. Inhale into the upper chest. Exhale, belly gently draws in. Inhaling all the way up to the upper collarbones. Exhaling, belly draws in. Now keep that breath, inhale, rising, come all the way up. Left hand out to the side, lean into it, stretch the right arm up and over. Feel free to explore, moving a little bit back or a little bit forward. Listening to the body, checking in. What is the body's mood like? Where are you feeling the resistance? 
Where are you feeling the tension? All the while letting the breath lead the way. Big inhale, big exhale. Then inhale, rising, come all the way up. Take the block out. Put your feet together, knees out to the side. So make this a strong action, not a yin pose, but your feet are pressing together. And we're gonna focus on the three points of the feet. So the big toe knuckle, the baby toe knuckle, and the center of the heel. So think about those three points as you press the feet together, press those three points together. Feel the legs get a little stronger. Maybe moving a little bit of the flesh back so you feel more grounded in the bones. Okay, hug everything together. Take a big inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward folding. Walking forward, tuck your chin, back of the neck is long. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, folding a little deeper. Stay forward, just wander over towards the right side, opening up that left hip, left waistline, left shoulder, left side of the neck. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, folding, just a little deeper. Keep pressing those feet together and wander over towards the left side. And observe the difference between your right side and your left side body. Inhaling, breathing all the way up to the upper body. And as you exhale, gently apply a little bit of Udhyana Bandha, belly lock. Come back towards the center. Inhale, rise and come all the way up. Come forward onto the hands and knees. Now, if you have a block, you could place the block between the knees. If you don't have a block, no worries. I want you to just think about a pretend block there, okay, and hug in. Now, spread your fingers, grip the mat with the fingertips, moving with the breath. <clears throat> Inhale, forward and up. Pull the shoulders back, heart forward, open your throat. Exhale, round and curl into it. Tuck your chin, pull the bellies up. Now, really rounding the shoulders. Pull the hands to the knees, pull the knees to the hands. Inhale, forward and up. Let the hands pull back, shoulders back. Open up your throat, face is soft, wrinkle free. Exhale, rounding into it, tuck your chin. Try to touch your nose to your belly button and pull your belly button up even more. One more time, inhale, forward and up. So the hands pull back, shoulders pull back, heart forward, open your throat and exhale, rounding. Hands push forward, round the shoulders, tuck your chin, pull your bellies up. Now inhale, come back to a neutral spine. Raise your left leg and your right arm. Turn your right palm to the left side of the room. That helps your shoulder rotation. Stretch your right arm more forward and stretch your left leg more back. Now think about your left hand on the floor and your right knee and don't move them, but pull them together. This will wake up the core a little bit more. Stretch more forward and back, take an inhale. Take an exhale. Changing sides, right hand down. Right leg up, left arm up. Turn your left hand to the right side of the room. That helps that shoulder, the scapula, and the humerus bone have a nice relationship. Now reach your left arm more forward and hug into the midline. Reach your right leg more back and hug in. Now imagine I'm touching your belly right now. Pull the belly button up so you're not dropping in the low back. Squeeze the arm and the leg together. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Slowly release. Tuck your toes under. Downward facing dog. So take a little walk here. <clears throat> Bend one knee at a time, pushing hands forward. Let the head get heavy, soften the neck. We'll come back to this pose and we'll start to talk a little bit more about the alignment, but I wanna go through a little bit of a flow. Now looking forward, step right leg forward, step left leg forward, come into Uttanasana forward fold. Pretend a block is between the legs, okay? Or between the feet, excuse me. Squeeze the feet together. Notice again the three points of the feet press down. Big toe knuckle, baby toe knuckle, and center of the heel. So pushing down firm through those three points. Inhale, rolling up to standing. Stretch the arms to the sky. And then hook your thumbs. Stretch up nice and tall. Squeeze the leg muscles to the bones. Take an inhale, reach up. Bend the body to the right as you exhale. Open up left side. Now, don't go too deep here. I want you to focus more on lifting and lengthening, like you're growing the right side body longer. Inhale, rise and come back up. Lengthen your low back, pull the bellies up, and exhale over to the left, open up right side body. Inhale, rise and come back up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Take it all the way down. Soften the knees, fingertips to the floor, or use a block if you can't touch the floor. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lifting the belly. Exhale, folding, bow, forehead to shins. Step the right leg back, bring your knee to the floor. Pad the knee if you need to. Push into the foundation. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Stay there on your exhale. Sink a little bit deeper. Preparing to leave. Inhale, breathing all the way up to the upper collarbones. And on your exhale, go to downward facing dog. Push the hands forward, step back and pause. Then come forward into a high push-up inhale, hovering. Please, everyone, bring your knees to the floor. Bend your, uh, excuse me, cross your ankles and bring your hips forward. We're going to do a few push-ups here. Take a big inhale. Slowly bend the elbows into the body. Come down in a straight line. Exhale. Inhale. Come all the way back up. Try not to bend in the waistline, but keep the body in a straight line. Exhale, slowly lower. Bend the elbows into the body, coming down. Lift those shoulders up. One more time. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Good work. Straighten your legs. Walk your legs back a little bit so you have more room in low back. Now bring your hands forward just a touch. We're going to do cobra ups. Now lift your shoulders. Inhale, come up. So a baby back bend. Don't come up too high. And the hands pull back, shoulders pull back like you're dragging yourself forward and up. Exhale, slowly lower down. Keep the legs active, hug muscles to bones. Inhale, rise and come up. Exhale, slowly lower down. So it's not a push up, more like a pull up. Inhale, coming up. Have the hands pull back, shoulders pull back. Exhale, slowly lower down. Wonderful. Press yourself into a child's pose. Soften into child's pose and take one full breath. Then step back, downward dog. Push hands forward, push feet back, lift the sit bones to the ceiling, widen your shoulders apart. Inhaling, exhaling, looking forward, Step right leg forward. Bring your back left knee down. Inhale, rising. Stay there on your exhale. Sink a little bit deeper. Preparing to leave. Inhale. Slowly step forward and bow. Exhale. Uttanasana. So feet apart, hip width distance. Take hands to elbows. Relax the head. Make the legs strong. Thigh muscles are active. Legs squeeze into the midline. But now allow the upper body to relax, to release, to surrender. Head gets heavy. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Releasing the arms. You're going to toe heel the feet together. Bend your knees. Sit down into chair pose, sweeping the arms up high. So I want you to widen the shoulders apart. Lift the arm bones up, take the gaze up, sit back a little bit deeper. So sit back enough that if you look down, you cannot see the toes. Sit back a little bit more. Take a big inhale to the upper chest. Exhale, belly draws in. Slowly forward fold, bow. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Really lift your belly. This is a back bend here. Draw the shoulders back, thighs are active, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, forward fold, bow. Step the left leg back. Keep the knee lifted. So find your foundation, take your time, and just slowly start to pick the fingertips off the ground. Inhale, 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 come all the way up. Arms up, widen the shoulders, broaden the shoulders. Take the arms up, gaze up. Lift your back knee a little higher as you bend your front knee lower. Feel your feet press down and squeeze together so the right leg drags back and the left leg drags forward. This will make the legs stronger and then you can let the upper body enjoy the back bend more. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Slowly releasing, hands to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Take a little longer downward dog than you did last time. And then come forward, high push up, hover. Push the mat away from you, round your upper back. 
Stay here on your exhale. Feel the belly muscles strong. Thighs are strong. Push on your toes. So you come forward to the front of the room and then either bring your knees to the ground or if you want to do the full chaturanga, please be mindful as you do that. Push on the toes, bend the elbows into the body and slowly lower. Come all the way down. Point your toes. Draw the shoulders onto the back and inhale up into a little bit higher of a cobra. So hands pull back, shoulders pull back. Grow your legs long. So think about the toes reaching more to the back of the room. Heart reaches more forward and up. Shoulder blades slide down the back. Take an inhale, lifting. Exhale, slowly lower. Press yourself into a child's pose. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale, downward facing dog. Push hands forward, push feet back, lift the sit bones higher, widen the shoulders. Look forward, left leg forward, back knee lifts. Now take your time, really find your foundation and inhale rising, let the eyes move in a straight line, drishti moves in a straight line, come all the way up. So widen the shoulders. Take the gaze up, lift up. Feel your back knee lifting. Maybe scoot your right foot back more so that leg is straight and active. Feel, don't look, but feel your feet pulling together. So it's like the left foot pulls back, right knee pulls forward, supporting your legs. Now take the breath all the way up to the upper chest, inhaling, exhaling. Slowly bring the gaze forward. Hands down, step forward into Uttanasana. Feet apart, hip width distance, take the hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. If you can't use, do that, maybe get a small towel. Lift the shoulders up, gently squeeze the arms together and let the head get heavy. Spread the toes and feel the three points of the feet press down. Arches of the feet are light and lifted. Inhaling. Exhaling. Releasing the arms. Toe heel the feet together. So touch the side, touch the floor with the fingertips and sit back a little bit deeper. Now get those legs to get on board. Squeeze the legs together and then inhale, reaching the arms up. Widen your shoulders, protract the shoulder blades apart so the, the back gets broader. Inhaling. Sit back a little deeper, hands to the heart. We're gonna take the twist here. Slowly twist to the right. Hook the elbow on the outside of the knee. Gently press the elbow down as you turn, twist, lengthen. Reach the crown of the head more forward and the tailbone more back. Draw the bellies in and twist, twist, twist. Inhale, release, forward fold. Relax the head, bow down. Bend your knees, sit down to chair again. Inhale, reaching the arms high, widen the shoulders apart. Hands to the heart center, lengthen, and twisting towards the left, hooking the elbow. So press the elbow down gently as you lift the belly up. Sit back a little bit deeper, keeping foundation strong and active. Focus more on where is the breath moving rather than how deep you're twisting. Inhale, release, forward fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift, lift your belly. And then step your right leg back, bring the knee to the floor, point your right toes. Inhale, reach the arms up. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Stay there, sit deeper on your exhale. Adding the twist now, right hand to the floor, or you can use a block if you're not able to touch the floor. Be very light on the fingertips. Stretch the left arm up, and now bend the left arm just a wee bit and let your shoulder move into the body. Let your armpit soften down the back. Choose to stay here or left hand can grab the back right foot, pulling the heel gently into the bum. Take a big inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, rinsing and twisting. Inhale, release the twist, hands to the floor, straighten the front left leg. Scoot that leg a little more forward. So you want the toes back to the face, thighs strong, knee under the hip, hips in line. Those of you quite comfortable with Hanumanasana, you can go with or without the block. Those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, just stay here. Take a big inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward folding. Hug the legs to the midline. 
So think about your left leg hugging to the right and the right leg hugging to the left. This helps to tone and facilitate the stretch. Take another inhale. Take another exhale, bowing forehead towards the leg. Inhale, lift the gaze. Transfer the weight, left foot to the ground and then right foot to the ground. So traditionally you have heel to heel alignment, but if you're quite tight in the hip, so you feel that that's just not a good shape for you, have the feet wider apart. Not longer, but wider. So your right foot can come a little bit more to the right. And so there's a space between the heels. Think about those three points of the feet again, big toe knuckle pressing down, baby toe knuckle pressing down, and center of the heel. So feel those three points on both feet, the triangle, and push down through them as you squeeze them together. Notice how the legs get stronger. Take an inhale, look forward, lengthen, lift your belly. And exhale, forward fold, bow. Taking a passive twist, right hand can stay where it is. Those of you very comfortable with the deeper twist, go ahead, take your right hand to the left side of the foot. I'll keep mine on the inside. Left hand to your low back, feel the hips are square. Turn your gaze to the left side of the room. Now before you go too deep into the twist, push the feet down, squeeze the legs together so you have a solid foundation, right? And then turn the gaze towards the left, start to turn the gaze up to the ceiling. If you're comfortable here and your left hip is not lifting, go for it. Stretch the left arm to the sky. Take a big inhale to the upper chest. Big exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, releasing the twist, hands to the floor, step it back, downward dog. Take a full breath here. Now I want you to think more about the alignment in downward dog. Hands a little wider than shoulder width distance apart. Spread your fingers. Can you press down more through the thumb and index finger and especially the webbing between the thumb and index finger? As you do that, this gives you an internal rotation of the hands. Now keeping that, don't lose that, lift your inner shoulders up and widen your shoulders apart. Big push, hands forward, big push, feet back, a little bend to the knees, lift the sit bones higher. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Come forward, high push up. Take a full breath here. Push the mat away from you, round your upper back, pull the belly muscles up, tone your thigh muscles. Inhaling, exhaling. Raise your right leg off the mat, hug into the midline. Inhaling, exhaling. Try not to move anything else in the body, but lower the right leg down. Left leg comes off the mat, hug into the midline. Inhaling, exhaling. Lower the left leg down. So options are to push your toes forward and come down with the knees, or push on the toes, come forward, and slowly bend the elbows into the body, chaturanga. Options are here to take a cobra, or if you're ready, pull through, upward dog, thighs lift, shoulders back, hands back, legs are strong. Big inhale, big exhale. Push back right into downward facing dog. Inhaling. Exhaling, right leg steps forward, back left knee down, left hand to the floor or the block, stretch the right arm up to the sky, gently rotate right shoulder into the body, choose to stay here or bend your back left foot and hold the foot, pull the heel into the bum, bend your right knee a little deeper, feeling that stretch in the front left thigh, inhale, lift the chest, Exhale, rinsing, twisting, detoxifying. Inhale, release the twist, hands to the floor, straighten your right leg, shift the weight. So your left knee under the hip. Those of you comfortable with going deeper, Hanumanasana, please explore that. Toes back to the face, contract your quadricep, thigh is active. Feel the nice stretch in the bottom of the leg, but complement with keeping the top of the leg strong. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding. Hug the right leg to the left, left leg to the right. Squeeze into the midline. Take another breath. Inhale, lifting the gaze. Transfer into Padottanasana. 
choosing the alignment. So the distance between the feet is about three to four feet. But the heel to heel alignment, try that. And if it doesn't feel correct, if you feel your low back and the hips are not tabletop, then have the feet wider apart. Notice the three points of the feet, get stable, get connected to your foundation, push into those three points, grow roots into the earth. Inhale, lengthen, lift up, pull the bellies up, tone your thigh muscles, and exhale, folding a little deeper. Keep those legs strong, twisting triangle, Pravita Trikonasana. Left hand stays where it is, or you guys who are comfortable, take a little deeper. So right hand to your low back, feel. Could you put your water bottle on your low back, or are you quite tippy? Try to adjust the feet so the hips are square. Turn the gaze to the right side of the room. Push your right foot down as you lift your belly. Slowly turn the gaze a little bit higher, but don't rush the twist. Hand can stay on the low back, or hand goes up to the sky. Push your right foot down, lift your right hand up, twisting, rinsing, three, two, one. Inhale, releasing. Step your left foot forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Separate your feet a little wider, come into a squat. I'm using a block. So I'm using a block just to support because of my knee. You don't need that, just come into a squat. You can start with the hands of the heart. So squeeze the knees to the arms and push your arms to the knees. Squeeze your knees to your arms and push your arms to your knees. Feel that. Now round your back just a little bit and I want you to pull the belly muscles in. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Now we're gonna come into Navasana Boat Pose. So if you have the block, of course, you're gonna to have to move it out. So let me just take that block out. Slowly reach the arms forward and sit your bum down. Then bring the knees forward. Take the hands underneath the knees. Draw the shoulders back, lift the chest. Raise the right leg, raise the left leg, rock back. Now, a lot of us round in the low back when we do this pose, so I want you to almost think about arching the low back. You want to find that sweet point between the sit bones and the tailbone that you're just balancing, hovering, and really enlisting a lot of the abdominal muscles to work here. So if you're really sensitive in the pose, you can just lightly hold, lift the chest, shoulders back. If you're ready for the next step, right arm forward, engage the arm muscles, biceps, triceps strong, pull the shoulder back. Left arm forward, engage the arm muscles, pull the shoulder back. Inhale, reach up. Squeeze the legs together, exhale, twisting towards the right, pull the bellies in. Inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling. Exhale, twist towards the left, pull the belly in. Inhale, reach up, cross the legs, hands to the floor, lift the bum. Maybe lift the feet off the floor. Three, two, one, bum down, good. Again, Navasana. Legs can become straight if you're quite comfortable. If you notice you're rounding in the low back, keep the knees bent. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the right, pull the belly in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twisting towards the left, pull the belly in. Inhale, reach up. You're gonna take your hands to your knees, rock back, and try to come up into that same squat that we were just in. So making sure nothing's behind you. Rock back, rock forward, reach forward into the squat. That's tricky. So come back into the squat. I'm not using the block for this one. And we're going to try a Bakasana Crow. So I really encourage students not to rush. Obviously, we don't want to fall forward. Uh, sometimes that happens, but I want you to just do baby steps here. So hands to the floor. Spread your fingers, grip the mat. Lift your bum and lean forward so the knees are on the back of the arms or the armpits. Keep looking forward and think about rounding the upper back like you would do in a cat and cow. Now, are you, do you have all the weight in the hands, but the feet are still on the ground? Feel that, really get all the weight in the hands. Keep looking forward, pull the bellies up, round the upper back. Squeeze the hands together so the legs are super strong. Now try to lean forward a little more, but keep the toes on the ground. Pull the bellies up. Practice lifting one foot off the ground and then put it down. Practice lift the other foot off the ground and put it down. Now for the last few moments, those of you of course who are good at Bakasana, go for it, do that. Last few moments, if you can, keep looking forward, lift your belly, both feet off the ground, and then put it down. Good work. Downward dog. Push the hands forward. Push the feet back. Imagine there's a block between the legs and squeeze that imaginary block. Then really press your thighs to the bathroom, lift your sit bones up higher, and relax your head lower. Lift the shoulders. 
widen the shoulders. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Now you're gonna bring your legs together and raise your right leg up to the ceiling. Try not to lift the hip, keep the hips in line. Weight is equal on both hands. Take an inhale, breath. Forehead to knee, exhale, round the upper back. Forehead to knees, you're coming to high plank here. Inhale, raise the right leg high. Come into high plank and bring right knee on top of right elbow. Flex the toes, push them out away from you, really rounding the upper back. Inhale, raise the leg. Come into high plank and bring the right knee across to the left elbow. Push them out away from you, round the upper back. Inhale, raise the leg. Look forward and step lightly. We'll come into warrior one. So your back foot is turned at an angle, front foot straight ahead. Push down firm through those two triangles, the three points of each foot, and inhale, rise and come up. Square shoulders, square hips. So of course your back left hip is not gonna come forward as much, but think about lifting the inner arch, the inner knee, pressing down more through the outer edges of the feet. Lengthen your low back, lift your chest, widen the shoulders apart, take the arm bones up, gaze up. Big inhale to the upper chest, big exhale, sit a little deeper. Take the hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, wrap the elbows forward. Inhaling, upper chest. Exhaling, belly draws in. Take the gaze forward, open up, warrior two. So adjust the stance. Notice right knee points forward. If you look down, you can see the right big toe. Arches of the feet are light and lifted. Feel the feet press down those two triangles, push them down and squeeze them together. Notice when you do that, even the glutes wake up thighs wake up, the, the hamstrings wake up. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Now slowly reaching forward to the front of the room, bring your right elbow to the right thigh, stretch the left arm to the sky. Now really push your elbow down and lift the chest up, so you're creating a little triangle between the right arm and the right thigh. Choose to stay there, or bring your right hand to the block, or the floor. Those of you very comfortable, you can explore working into the bind. Three more breaths here. So not rushing the shape, staying in whatever shape that is appropriate for you. Hearing the breath, feeling the breath energize you, inspire you. Let it be your focus for three, two, one. Turn the gaze to the floor and step back into downward dog. Let's take a three-legged dog now. Pushing the hands more forward. Pushing the feet more back. Come forward into three-legged high push-up and hover. Push the mat away from you. Round the upper back. Belly is strong. You have an option to bring the knees to the floor and do your chaturanga that way or do the three-legged chaturanga. Push on your left toes, come forward, and slowly come all the way down. All right. Walk the arms back. Interlace the fingers. Bring the legs together. Push into your hips, lift the legs, lift the upper body, lift the arms, tuck your chin slightly. So I want you to feel the inner thighs squeezing together and lifting up. Think about separating your heels, but press the big toes together. Lengthening, lifting for three, two, one, and slowly lower down. Hands to the floor, downward dog, three-legged. Left leg goes to the sky. Push the hands more forward, hug into the midline. Take an inhale, breath. Exhale, forehead to knee. Round into it, round the upper back, really push them out away from you. Inhale, raise the left leg high. Come into high plank, bring your left knee on top of left elbow, push them out away from you, round your upper back. Inhale, raise the leg. Come into high plank, exhale, bring the knee towards your right elbow, push the mat away from you, round the upper back. Inhale, raise the leg. Step forward lightly, come into warrior one. Take your time. Steady the drishti at one point. Widen the shoulders apart. Take the gaze up. Feel those two triangles pressing down and squeezing together. Feel the arches light and lifted. 
Low back long, belly lifting. Inhale to the upper chest. Exhale, belly draws in. Take the hands behind the head, interlace the fingers, wrap the elbows forward. Let the head lean back a little into the hands. Inhaling to the upper collarbones. Exhaling, belly draws in. Take the gaze forward and open up into Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana Two. So notice that front knee points forward, so does the front foot. Arches of the feet are light and lifted. Feel the feet press down and squeeze together. Really get the legs to be strong and active so you don't feel it in the joints. Low back is long, belly is lifting. Stretch the arms forward and back. Engage the arm muscles, biceps, triceps strong. Draw the shoulder blades gently together and down your back. Inhaling. Exhaling. Reach forward and then bring your left elbow to your left thigh. Press the elbow down, lift the chest, stretch your right arm up to the ceiling. Choose to stay there or explore hand to the floor or, excuse me, to the block or to the floor. Stretch the right arm over the ear. Now pretend a wall is behind you and I want you to lean back a little bit into that wall, opening up the right side body. Choose to stay here or take the bind. So think about the name of the pose, extended side angle. You're extending the side of the body, not just the right side, but also the left side body. Grow it longer for three, breathing into the upper chest for two, one. Turn the gaze to the floor, go back, down with dog, three-legged. So left leg in the sky, come forward to three-legged high push-up. So option one is to bring the knees to the ground. Option two is to push on the toes, come forward, and slowly lower chaturanga. Come all the way down, point your toes. Walk your legs back, bring your legs together, Hands again behind your back. This time you're gonna keep your feet on the ground as we lift the upper body. So press into the feet, squeeze the legs together, and inhale, come up. Draw the shoulders back, lift the arms away from the low back, and reach the knuckles to the back of them. Press down more through the feet, engage the thigh muscles, so maybe the knees come off the ground. Start to lift a little higher. Maybe you're lifting up the lower rib off the ground. Tuck your chin back and the neck is longer. Take another inhale, lifting higher and exhale lower. Hands to the floor, go back, downward dog, Ardha Mukhasnasa. Inhaling, exhaling. Bring your feet together, spin the heels to the right, Vasisthasana, left arm to the sky. Many ways to modify, if you know you need to modify, you drop your right knee to the floor, and you stretch the left arm up. Those of you who are quite comfortable in the pose can start to explore stretching that left leg away from the right leg. Push your right hand more forward. Lift the hips up higher for three. Breathing into the upper chest for two. One, slowly lower the leg. We go back to downward facing dog. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Other side, feet together. Spin the heels to the left, right arm to the sky. Again, modifying knee to the floor. I'm gonna do that on this side. Stretch your right arm up. Try not to lean all the way into the wrist, but rather spread the left fingertips and push the hand more forward. See if you can lift your hips a little higher. If you're comfortable, raise your right leg away from your left leg, even if you're modifying, challenging the balance. Breathing three, two, one. Releasing the leg, hands to the floor, downward dog. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Bring your knees to the floor. Bring your forearms to the floor. Interlace the fingers. So the elbows underneath the shoulders approximately, hands squeezed together. We'll first go back into the plank shape. Walk your legs back, squeeze the legs together. Push the arms down so you're feeling like you're lifting the belly and you're rounding the upper back so the space between the shoulder blades is lifting. Inhaling, exhaling. 
Raise your right leg off the mat and hug into the midline. Inhaling. Exhaling. Changing legs. Left leg off the mat. Inhaling. Exhaling. Left leg down. Walk in into dolphin. Now your head does not touch the ground here. If it does, I'll suggest you look forward. So keep pressing the forearms forward. Lift your bum up higher. Widen your shoulders. Choose to stay here or raise your right leg off the ground. Push the forearms forward. Widen the shoulders and take a breath. Change legs, right leg down, left leg up. Try to lift the inner thigh higher so you're squaring the hips. Push the forearms more forward, widening the shoulders. Inhaling, exhaling. Lower the left leg down, knees to the floor, child's pose with the shoulder opener. So elbows on the floor, hands in prayer above the head. Press the elbows down and press the palms together. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Then slowly coming back up into your dog. Inhaling. Exhaling. So now the body is a little bit more malleable. We've tapped into a little bit more of the strength. In downward dog, press hands forward and squeeze them together. Lift the inner shoulders up, the biceps up, and widen the shoulders apart. The scapula widens, protracts apart, and now you're starting to think about the outer shoulder going down, the inner shoulder going up. Tone your thighs, lift your sit bones, soften your low ribs into the body, and relax the head. Inhaling, exhaling. Looking forward, step right leg forward, step left leg forward, come into Uttanasana forward fold. Push down firm through those three points of the feet and roll up to standing. Inhale as you do, big stretch. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Let's explore baby back bend here. Go up, go up, go up, little bit back. And exhale, hands to heart. Come to the center, gaze at the fingertips. All right, Whew, I need a little drink. So we're going to do just a couple standing postures, one-legged. Something that I always suggest my students to practice daily, things you could do while you're brushing your teeth in your bathroom, maybe not as deep. So let's go into airplane pose. So start just with the feet together. Find your Tadasana body. Toes are active. Thighs, really lift your thighs up. Contract the muscles to the bone. So if you look at your legs, you can see if they're active or if they're lazy, right? So think about the muscles hugging in. Bring the hands to the hips, shift, shift the weight into the left leg, a little squeeze of the left glute, and take your right leg up 90 degrees. Hug into the midline. So you can even bring your hands to your inner legs and squeeze into them and feel that. That's what I mean. I want you to really activate those adductors. Take an inhale, straighten the right leg. Keep hugging into the midline. Bend your right leg, exhale. Straighten your right leg, inhale. Bend your right leg, exhale. Now you're gonna slowly pivot and take the leg behind you. Keep hugging into the midline. So you can, can again bring your hands to your inner legs and squeeze in, feel that action. Think about your belly, even touch your belly. Is your belly activated here? Arms can stretch out to the side or reaching forward to the front of the room. Widen your shoulders apart, just like we were doing in our downward dogs. Stretching the arms more forward. Stretching the right leg more back for three. Lift your belly for two, one, and inhale, rise and come up. Release the arms, close your eyes and take a full breath. Other side, hands to the hips, shift the weight. So think about the three points of the feet. There's a tendency for us just to collapse into the inner ankle. So adjust that foot, really tone your inner quadricep. Left leg comes up, squeeze your right glute. Right thigh active. Straighten your left leg, inhale. Bend your left leg, exhale. Straightening your left leg, inhale. Bend it, exhale. Slowly pivot, take the leg back. Notice what's going on with those pesky hips. Keeping those hips in line. Maybe bring the hands to the inner legs to feel that. 
So the inner thighs are going back, hugging into the midline. Imagine my hand is on your inner leg and you're squeezing into it. Can you feel that? Belly lifting it up. Choose to stay hands on the hips or spread the arms out to the side. Choose to stay there or challenging yourself further by reaching the arms forward. <clears throat> Stretching the arms to the front of the room. Widen your shoulders. Turn the biceps to the ceiling. Turn the triceps down to the floor. Stretch more forward. Stretch more back for three. Strong fire. Two. One. Inhale. Rising. Come up. Release the arms. Close the eyes. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. All right. Bring the hands up. Right leg up again. So holding the right knee or reach down and hold the big toe or the outside of the foot. Straighten the leg. If you do this and you're really wonky, go back to holding the knee, no big deal. It's not how deep you're going in the pose, but it's how are you going there? Are you able to focus on breath, stability, the intention of the pose? Take the leg out to the right, bent or straight, shoulders back and down. Again, squeeze your left glute, left quadricep is active. Can you still visualize, feel the three points of the foot? Turn your gaze to the left as you reach your right knee or right foot to the right. Take a big inhale to the upper chest. Take a big exhale, belly draws in. Come back to the center. Left hand holds the knee or the outside of the foot if you're holding the foot. Right hand goes to the low back. Gently rinse and twist. Stretch the right arm to the back of the room as you reach the right knee more forward. Take a big inhale. Take a big exhale. Inhale, come back to the center and slowly releasing the leg. Close your eyes and take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Always coming back to your center, always coming back to the intention. Right? Think about the bigger picture. Not focusing on just the performance of the pose, but think about your bigger picture. Left hand holds the knee or holds the foot. If you're holding the foot, straighten the leg and just check in. Is this appropriate for you or should you go back to holding the knee? Listening to your body. Slowly take the leg out to the left. Stretch the right arm out to the right. Thigh is strong and active. Arms are active. Turn your gaze to the right as you reach your left knee or left leg more to the left. Take a big inhale to the upper chest. Exhale, belly draws in. Come back to the center. Right hand holds the outside of the knee or the foot. Lower the hip, left hand to your low back. Feel the hips are square. Hand can stay on your low back or reaching that left hand to the back of the room. Take a big inhale to the upper chest. Exhale, belly draws in, twisting just a little more. And then inhale, come back to the center and release the leg. Arms to the side, take a big inhale. Take an exhale. All right, open your eyes. Take a step out towards the right. Nice long stance here. Feet parallel. Inhale, lifting the chest. And exhale, forward folding. Take it down. Hands to the floor in between the feet. Use a block if you're unable to touch the floor. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And as you look forward, this is a little bit of a back bend. So pull the bellies up. Draw the shoulders back. Tone your thighs. Think about the thighs going back and apart. Then exhale, forward fold, bow. Hands can stay here or you grab the outside edges of the feet, ankles or toes. Lift the shoulders up as you roll the weight more forward. Steady gaze at one point. Three deep breaths here. Still focusing on inhaling to the upper chest. Exhale, belly draws in. Then releasing back into downward facing dog. Take one full breath here. Then bring your right knee forward for pigeon, left leg in a straight line behind you. Clear the front of the body, inhaling. Walk yourself forward and down. Five breaths here. Elbows could go on the floor. Hands in prayer above the head.
Returning back into downward facing dog. Think about pushing into the fingers, knuckles, palms. Big stretch of the spine. And then bring left knee forward. Let the knee lead the way. Don't rush the knee or the shin forward, excuse me. You're welcome to put a block underneath the left hip if that would help. Just five breaths here. Clear the front of the body and come forward and down. Coming up slowly and then take your right leg forward and you're going to lie on your back for bridge pose. So I'll just turn sideways so you can see me. Lying on your back, heels close to the bottom, <clears throat> low back is long, lift your bum up, walk your arms underneath you, interlace the hands, press down through the arms and lift the hips up higher. Gently press the head back into the mat. Walk your feet a little closer together and raise your right leg up. Feel the three points of the left foot press down. So can you feel the big toe knuckle, the baby toe knuckle and the center of the heel? Lift your hips up higher and try to hold the ceiling away from the floor. Really engage the leg muscles. Push down more through the arms, lift the chest, take an inhale, take an exhale. Bring the leg down 45 degrees. Push down more through the heel, lift your hips up higher. So noticing how the glutes getting a little bit more fired up. Hug the legs into the midline. Inhale to the upper chest. Exhale, belly draws in. Changing legs, right leg down, left leg up. Hold ceiling away from the floor. Feel, visualize those three points of the feet. Pressing down, lift the hips up higher. Lengthen your low back, belly draws up to the chest. Push down more through the arms, lift the chest up higher. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Lower the leg down, 45 degrees. Lengthen your low back. Feel how your right leg muscles are getting a little bit more active. Push down through the heel, lift your hips up higher. Inhaling to upper chest. Exhaling, belly draws in. Releasing the leg. Release your arms and lower down the upper, the middle, and the low back. Feet together, knees out to the side. Take the arms over the head and take a breath. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Come back to the center. If you have a block, take the block between the legs. If you don't have a block, just bring the legs in the air and squeeze the legs together. Hands behind the head, interlace the fingers. This is a four part movement, very subtle. Don't move the legs too much. So squeeze the legs together, take an inhale breath and gently lift the tailbone up. So you're curling the low back, but the legs don't move too much. Keep squeezing the block. Take an exhale, lift the elbows up to the ceiling. Look at your belly, pull your bellies down. Inhale, head and shoulders off the mat. Exhale, hips down. Squeeze the block. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lift the elbows up. Look at your belly, pull your bellies down. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Exhale, hips down. Squeeze the block. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips up. Exhale, lift the elbows up to the ceiling. Look at your belly, pull your belly down. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Exhale, hips down. Squeeze the block. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips up. Exhale, lift the elbows up. Head and shoulders off the mat. Look at your belly, pull your bellies down. Squeeze the block. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Exhale, hips down. One more time, squeeze the block. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, lift the elbows up to the ceiling. Look at your belly, pull your bellies down. 
Inhale, head and shoulders down. Exhale, hips down. Take the block out. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Close your eyes. Inhale into the upper chest. Exhale and belly draws in. Taking one Brahmri breath here. Keep your right knee up, straighten your left leg on the ground. Pull the right knee to the shoulder, draw the shoulders down the back. Take a big inhale, one humming bee breath. into the spinal twist, take the leg across the body, left hand assist the knee down, stretch your right arm to the upper corner of the mat, soften the shoulders, the hips, close your eyes, take three Brahmari breaths. Inhale back to the center. So straighten everything out again. Straighten the right leg. Pull the left knee up. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knee to the shoulder. Draw the shoulders down the back. One Brahmari breath. Moving the leg across for the spinal twist. If the knee's not comfortable touching the floor, you could always put a block or a pillow under the knee. Don't force it to the ground. Explore the shape, really listening to what the body needs here. Three Brahmari breaths. to the center, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, it's time for Shavasana. If you'd like to take your legs up the wall, go for it, otherwise just lying here. Legs are up, relaxing, arms are relaxing, spine is relaxing, eyes are closed. Staying there.
time today, please stay in your Shavasana a little longer. Those of you who are on a schedule, just start to make movements of fingers and toes. Turn your head gently side to side. You can stretch your arms over the head, take a big reach, big sigh. We will end our practice here. Thank you so much for sharing, joining this space. Uh, it's a wonderful way for us to get together during these strange times. Uh, so I'll try to post a few more videos. Uh, I want to do a yin yang because a lot of you guys have been asking about that. So look uh, for either my pages or Pure Yoga's official page to see that. And tomorrow I'll just go in for my little quick knee surgery. So I won't be doing any live videos next week that are um, physical practices, but hopefully I'll be doing some pranayama practices, uh, pranayama meditation practices that will be live. Okay, so take care, awesome work, and have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself. Namaste. So fun to watch you guys all. <laughs> Thank you.